off and we're vlogging. It is 60 degrees in Ohio today and despite the fact that I'm feeling extremely sick and weak and feel like this is a bad idea, I'm on my way to the skate park because when it's 60 degrees in Ohio in December, you don't waste it. So I'm on my way to the park. Hopefully I can catch a session and the sickness lets me ride for at least a little bit before I get too tired. And uh, hopefully we can make a video for you guys. So I'm gonna stop rambling at this point and uh, we'll see you at the skate park. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's no one here. Six socks. Oh, my goodness. The entire Pokemon gang is here. Look at them all rolling up like a squad. Cause there's a gym. That thing is a gym. And the skate park is a gym. They are Pokemon going. It doesn't look like they're getting out. So. I'm gonna move back to what I was trying. Oh my gosh, there's more. Another one over there. Another one over there. Pokemon Go scene is strong. BMX scene? I don't see anyone else at the skate park. <laughs> Except this guy, he's killing it. Sorry for interrupting, I just feel like this is the perfect opportunity to take you guys through the process of what actually goes on in my mind during the process of landing one of these stupid weird tricks that I do and I don't know when another one like it is going to pop up in order to film my thoughts and what's actually going on as it happens. So I wanna do this right now and if you guys enjoy it, maybe I'll do another one as it's happening in the future, but we've gotta start all the way at the beginning. The whole point of what I was trying to film right here is I wanted to do a super tweaked out knack knack double peg stall on the spine. And in the process of that, I messed up and an idea popped into my head on this mess up for some sort of foot plant variation with what I was trying. And before I could take any of that or explore any of that, I needed to land a super tweaked out knack knack double peg stall. So that's what I did before I moved on and that's what you're gonna see right now.
Okay, so now what's going on is I landed the tweaked out knack knack double peg stall on the spine, which you obviously saw. And from here, I'm going into trying to figure out what I can do with the idea that I had some sort of knack knack foot plant thing, double peg stall, whatever. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do. And that's what happens at this point in the process. So let's get back to it. dispersing we've got two of them over here at the gym battling it out well I battle it out for this trick at the skate park gym And now that you've seen that nice fall that I had, basically what happened was I got super tweaked out in the knack knack that I was trying and it didn't go right, but I almost like sat down on my bike in it and I thought it was awesome. So I wanted to try that out and try to get that, make that happen. And obviously it didn't work out for me, but what I want to point out here is that there are almost always distractions when it comes to these kinds of tricks or different tricks that come into play and almost work out and then you go down that avenue and that doesn't work so you go down another avenue and you just keep following the paths until something works so that's what was happening there and I gave up on it after I fell because I realized that there was no safe way out of that and I just it wasn't what I wanted so I continued trying the foot plant thing and I'm still just trying to figure out what I can do with this foot plant and where I can take it and it's at that point that my buddy Cody shows up on his motorcycle and we ride for a little bit and I have him help me and try and figure something out or get his opinion and in the process something actually works out so let's see what happens there. Cody and the Pokemon Goners. Goners, Pokey and the Pokey and the Cody Mon Goners. I can't talk. I'm tired. <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> Shows up on a bike so he can ride my bike. What are you talking about? I have 28. It feels so much easier to pedal. Like That's weird. Lot. I wonder if, I don't know, rear end difference? The rear end's gotta be close. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, fancy. Yeah, there's a puddle there. Real quick, yes, I just said that that 270 is the only thing that's going to work because at the time, that's what I believed. But if you continue watching, you'll see that I continued to try it and things developed further as Cody rode my bike some more and we traded off and on with me trying the trick and him riding. And you'll see how things progressed right now. Heard you wouldn't three it. What? Heard you wouldn't three it. On your bike? Yeah. It's like the same thing. Oh. That's okay. You don't have to do it. Everyone already knows that you're a sissy. Yeah. <laughs> you 180'd it. Sun's out, guns out for the three. Oh, oh, just kidding. He's got extra weight. They make fanny packs for that. I want one. <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Here it is. Yeah. I should just do that. Another thing that I'd like to quickly add here is that there are so many different tricks that are tried in these situations, just trying to figure out something that will work, all stemming from this original one idea that was kind of the beginning catalyst for everything that you've seen. Is it better? <laughs> I had crooked bars this whole session. Wow, it's the bike. Definitely the bike. No, it's not the bike. <laughs> <laughs> From what I recall, is I pulled one on my bike first try in contest, so I don't think it's the bike. Prove it. Proved. Proven. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Had to do that. And now let's get back to this trick we were trying. Or actually, you know what? We're going to do other tricks. I think that the one thing I did was good enough. Also, it feels weird talking to the camera while I'm riding. figured it out and what I mean by that is that in the process of trying to land a better 270 out of the foot plant I actually figured out something that's going to help me make something else out of this trick and take it to the next level that I personally wanted it to be at and that's something else that I wanted to talk about here is the aha moments of clarity that happen during the process of figuring out tricks like this one and making something happen or making a trick vision come to life. And this is just the first of those aha moments that happen 
my voice is going away because, like I said earlier, I'm sick. But this was the first of those aha moments that happened during the process of making this trick come to life. And it was the first one that really let me take things to the next level. And you'll see what I mean right now. All right, so at this point, I've landed the trick that I thought I wanted several times now, but upon watching the video back, I noticed that my foot on the spine was actually blocking my other foot on the pedal that was on the spine. So I relocated the angle, and now I'm gonna go through the process of landing the trick again from a different angle so that I can hopefully get a better angle on the trick. And that's something that has happened to me so many times because I don't review the footage very often and I don't see until I've already landed it that I was filming from a bad angle the entire time. So I have to move the camera and then do it again. But as you'll see when you keep watching, things change a little bit whenever I try it again. So as you saw, I actually landed the trick again on the second attempt from this angle, but for whatever reason, whether it was me just not being satisfied enough with how fast I got my foot to the pedal or me being my normal self and overcomplicating things, I continued trying the trick so much so that on the next attempt, I tried to do it in a line for whatever reason, I don't know, but I did continue trying the trick. And on the last two attempts that you saw, you saw that I figured out that I could take my foot from being planted on the spine and put it back onto the pedal. And that's when I said, oh, there we go, because that was the last aha moment that I needed to take this trick to the level that I wanted it to be at and make things happen the way that I was kind of envisioning them, but pulling it all together to make me know what I needed to do to make the trick happen. And as you'll see, I even got a couple different variations on it in the process of trying to pull it all together and make things happen. So that's going to do it for this part of me talking about what was going on in my mind in trying this trick. And I hope that I gave you a little bit more insight into what goes on in whatever you want to call this brain that I have in my head 
to do these weird, stupid tricks that I do. Either way, though, let's get back and see how things come together. Hopefully it looks okay. Oh. All right, now that I spent my entire session on that, let's do some rapid fire quarter pipe tricks. getting cold. Let's end this with a five tap to ice pick. Got it. All right, so we're doing an outro today for the video. As you saw, as usual, I spent the entire session on one trick or a couple variations of a trick on one ramp the entire session. It took the entire time but that's okay because it's freestyle and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Sometimes it gets annoying, but when I'm having a solo session, that's just how it goes for me. And I would rather put time into one trick that's like super, super hard than spend an entire session doing all these tricks I already know how to do. It's just how I have fun doing it. So next time you're riding or whenever you ride, just remember, that BMX is freestyle and you can do exactly what you want to do, whether it's doing a thousand different tricks in one session to have fun or doing one trick or spending an entire session to get one trick. It's all BMX. It's all freestyle. It's all fun. And that's the way it's supposed to be. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video on, uh, how to do this one trick on the spine that I took forever to do. And if you did, do me a favor and share this video with a friend. Subscribe if you're new. It does nothing but help me to make more videos just like this one for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.